April is Child Abuse Prevention Month. Melanie Hicks is a supervisor at St. Luke's Crittenton Children's Center. Melanie, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. You are out there on the front lines uh, where children who are abused and neglected and dealing with so many emotional uh, problems and mental health issues That's correct. are. You're out there battling with others there at St. Luke's Crittenton Children's Center. So tell me what you're seeing. What is that like? What do you see? What happens there? Um, so basically the signs of abuse would be unexplained um, bruises, burns, injuries to a child. Maybe you have an unexplained or inconsistent story as to how those things happened. It's basically just trauma to a child and it's that gut feeling you get when you know something is maybe not quite right um, and you want to do something about it. That's what we're seeing. So what do you do? How do we report this if we see something because we're afraid a lot of people don't want to report that's true and luckily there are on both the Missouri and Kansas sides um, free phone numbers where you can call into you can be anonymous have as much information as possible you have the Missouri Department of Children's Services, and then you have the Kansas Protection Center. You want to call into those numbers, and there will be a call taker who will take that information and be able to help you and open an investigation to help out a child. So why would you, now working with these abused children, why would you say it is so important to make that call and to report it if you suspect something? It's so important because we have to be the voice of the children. They're already in a vulnerable state, and they're supposed to be taken care of by the adults who are in charge and unfortunately there are times where those people have failed those children mm -hmm. and so it's our responsibility in this community to make sure that we speak up and that we're able to help out where we can. So let's talk about some hope. What are you seeing? What are some success stories? What are some transformational things that, that are happening? So one thing is children are very resilient. We have to remember that even though they're taken out of a bad situation they still have loyalty to those people that were their family, where they came from, and where that trauma existed. So the biggest thing is being able to put that family unit back together and give them the tools that they need in order to be successful. So if that's helping with substance abuse, mental health issues, anything that um, it was precluding them from being successful in the beginning, we are in place in order to help them go forward. All right. I'm glad you're there helping these kids and their families, you know, they're dealing with this abuse situation. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming and sharing. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right.